That is awful. We do still have the activity sheet, and you'll all remember my voice because I'm talking. <sighs> all right. So yeah, share out those things. Bring the students into this as well, right? So have them go out and find the voices that they want to hear. Make them do the conversation. Um, make them do the curation of material, and then use that. Because let's face it, we are old, we are uncool, we are not hip to their ways, and we miss out on all sorts of ways of knowing that are really present and strong for them right now. So ask them to bring those resources to the table and use them because next semester you'll have fresh content and fresh material that you've never thought of before and you would never even be able to, to, to find. Oh, it's okay. It just makes it all the more special for being here. You should always show up to these active teaching labs because sometimes the recording be there for you afterwards. Thank you for showing up. Okay. That's a good topic. We have two minutes left. Oh my gosh. So we don't actually have time to do more than this. I want to really um, encourage anyone. So please look through the rest of these. We're not going to be able to go through them on time. This document will stay a lot around even without a recording, and you can go to it and add to it and jump on it. I want to reinforce um, that we have more information in the links here, everything that you might want, well, maybe not everything, but a lot of things, and there's more. It is overwhelming. It's absolutely overwhelming, but we're smart, you're smart, your students are smart, the universities generally up for being smart. Um, with this, we will do this. Um, and it's going to be slow. It's going to be difficult. Um, but lean into it and start off with a discussion experience. Thank you all. It is 2 o'clock. I'm happy to stick around for another uh, 20 minutes as long as people are interested in having a conversation. I would love to stick around and have a conversation. And maybe it could be a little bit more informal than just me talking at you all. Thank you all for coming. And please add to the resources. John, you should get some water. <laughs> I've got water. It's not helping. <laughs> Sorry, John. I usually ask about the recording. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's, I, I, I should know how to do this by now. Suzanne, stick around if you can. Okay. I'd love to have a conversation about how we'll do the the one at um, Plymouth State. Mm -hmm. Super. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks, Margaret. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, AJ. And thank you, Lisa, and the other moderators, uh, JT and Karen and Sam. Thank you so much for your um, help with that and um, for the slide deck that you put together and for adding so much to the, to the right-hand column. Terry, so glad to, to see your name here. Did we touch on colonial sin to settle your mentality at all? No, no, we didn't. There's a lot in the anti-racist um, teaching about that, but we did not get to that in our uh, session today. It might be something worth thinking about for your, with the state. Yep, for Plymouth State University, yeah. Yeah, if um, you're, if you're, for your next presentation of it too. It's certainly something that it's underneath all of it here. And when then it yeah, helps yeah. us be inclusive and bring in indigenous as well as um, as black and race, other other race issues. Yeah. And that's an excellent, excellent point. Um, it's a, it also ties into the whole decolonizing stuff that's happening right now. The whole, that whole decolonizing. Thank you, Deborah. And in Canada, we're part of the, um, Commonwealth universities. So there's a whole consortium of Commonwealth universities. She's about as colonial as it gets, right? We're still part of the Queen's country. Right. Commonwealth. 
but it, but it's interesting because they have a massive project on decolonizing and you want something that's guaranteed to have the faculty get instantly pissed off you start talking about decolonizing the university <laughs> do is is that what we want though is, is it the goal to no, piss off the faculty it's not, it's not but it's 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 a triggery thing and it's an interesting thing to to then say okay well i had somebody i write me a several page i write email talking about how nobody created knowledge prior to the italian renaissance that it was just yeah. like wait a minute, excuse me i think there were a whole lot right. of civilizations that were doing an awful lot of knowledge creation discovery prior to the italian renaissance um, but i think it's one of the things that it's it could be useful to, for people to think about though right because it's feeding into the whole problem with with race and racism and white supremacy is, is this mentality of elite and privilege mm -hmm. yeah. it's something i've been wrestling with a lot and anyway. lately it's kind of the root especially, cause of all of it especially given that indigenous people's day is also you know coming up and it will mm -hmm. be during the semester. Yeah. Um, Terry, Suzanne, Lisa, JT, I want you all to introduce each other. Um, uh, Suzanne is from, uh, well, was she got her PhD here in public health and mm -hmm. public affairs. Um, Terry was part of bio everything. She was sort of a, a, an amazing instructor uh, resource for a, a lot of great teaching in, in, in the sciences. Um, Lisa is now part of the the collaborative at UW Madison and and really helped me think do a lot of thinking about the resource that we did here, as well as JT, who's been a fantastic mm -hmm. project assistant for the, it seems like forever now, but it's it's only been like a short time actually. Um, but <laughs> with without him, we would not be able to do any of these labs. Um, so that's who everybody is is left here on the car. Uh, no, Sam is still here as well. And Margaret is here and Sarah is here. Hello, all. Hey, Jan, Margaret Good. here. Yep, Margaret is also a PA that is no longer a PA, but has been a, a great resource in helping us do the labs this last year. Um, her PA ship just ended, but now she's working uh, on a, not an assistant ship, what's it called? SharePoint. A practicum, yeah, a practicum with us. Um, Cool. And then Sam was from the uh, Multicultural Student Center and now in the Office of Inclusion and Diversity. <sighs> so next, in September, no, early October, um, Suzanne asked me if we could do something on it, this topic in at Pacific Let's State. My university, so Plymouth State. It, it's Plymouth State University. It's a small state university in New Hampshire, New England. Um, and uh, and folks are very interested. Plus, I, I get your emails, John. I don't know how I started getting your emails for your. Um, are you having your whisk at EDU lab years and years uh, emails? Getting, um, Passed on. That's cool. I don't know. Good. Um, yeah. So John is going to help me facilitate this here, um, and so this was we really figure out how and what and I, I have thoughts. It was this was terrific, and I um, I made a lot of notes. Actually, I had a still. I our our uh, semester starts next week. When does UW start next week? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I had my syllabus open and I was making changes as we were going along and um, and so yeah, I'm crossing my fingers too. I guess I'm supposed to be. Yeah. So. Terry, are you all doing face to face still? Oh no, no we shifted. Nope. Nova Scotia all has been better behaved than most of the states in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. In, in the sense of we were locked down um, starting mid-March and uh, and that was so made the decision to suspend instruction and then everybody had one week to, to shift to remote learning and so there was a whole lot of uh, the obvious Chaos. associated with that right but it was we were trying to be really deliberate that it was remote learning and not um, distance education or online learning right it was like no this is emergency remote teaching that's yep just survive um, and so there was um, they finished the semester that way 
and then we made the decision to go all online for the summer and then all online for the fall. And so there's been about, I think, 3,000 classes that have been moved online. Yep. Um, and, uh, and our enrollment has not declined. We're actually at 3% higher right now than we were at the same time last wow. year. Because I, I, I put us on a strategic plan. I basically put us on a plan that was a, it was an 18 month plan, basically saying starting now, this is what we're doing. And it was academic and enrollment stabilization plan with teams that just went into action. And, and one of them was a quality team, academic quality, which was how do we support faculty members and going online in, in a way that students will actually want to take their classes. And we never fussed with the kind of high flex hybrid, you have to teach it. That's what I worry about is these things where we try to teach online and face to face with the same class yeah. is that you end up with the worst of all worlds. And yeah. it's like, and so we basically just said no. And I said, look, if you're going online, go online. And yeah. and if you have to go face to face for whatever reason, because we have accredited programs and we have like clinical and medical and health things. And it was, well, you're going to have to delay or you know, so we, just, we had a whole, it was a whole plan that's been. Um, Terry, can you come back to Madison, please? Ah, I'd love to if I have a chance, but I don't think there's any positions open right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, so that's that's kind of what we did, and then we just the it was just announced that we're gonna be staying online through the winter as well. Like we're just not that was kind of the philosophy I was taking in in the late spring, which was look, you already know we're probably not gonna be able to go back to face to face the same way that we were, so let's just put plan now so we have quality stuff that we're putting online. And so it was like all hands on deck, workshops, platforms, support the tech, support the faculty. We pulled 30 grad students off out of our graduate teaching certificate program and put them to work holding the hands of faculty members Smart. that had no idea what they were doing. Uh, and, and just, it was really a really substantial effort. And so far it's it's been all right. You know, it's still, there's gonna be people that, if you can't teach face to face, you're not probably gonna be able to teach online either. <laughs> like. Yeah. Bad teaching is bad teaching, and some people do better online, and other people do better face to face. And so we're just trying to like help people as much as we can. But what JT I what I really, go oh god, oh, yeah, I was just going to say, uh, JT, Lisa, uh, Terry, what 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 happened in this session that we can do better, differently, um, structurally? How do we get yeah. other people to join in? I mean. I was really surprised. Sorry, there's a, of course, that trash collector comes um, behind me. Of course. As soon as I turn off um, or turn, turn on the audio. The, the biggest thing for me, obviously, is that you know, there were very few people that were sort of willing to vocalize their yeah. thoughts. But the amount of material that was added to the activity sheet, um, yeah. I mean, keyboards were on fire. Yes. Um, and oh so my I gosh, wonder, so people are hungry for it. Yeah. I just wonder if there's a way not to take, you know, the take you out of the center of the screen, but to maybe maybe do a discussion group or maybe do like a small breakout group um, at the outset um, and then pull people and then pull people back in that sort of, that way you're sort of forcing them to speak to one another about these issues um, okay. or what they're interested in or what they're um, you know, immediate needs are, but from what was going on in the activity sheet, I mean, there were very rich conversations, you know, even just bulleted points, you know, people responding to one another. So it's kind of, I don't think there was anything wrong except for the fact that um, they were good, overwhelmed. Um, yeah. I think that's a good position to have put them in. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, you have for an hour. But yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Lisa, your thoughts? Any 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 ideas? Yeah, I was. Um, I honestly don't. I wasn't able to follow what was going on in terms of the, I guess, audio based conversation because you were on I was, fire in there <laughs> in that table. I saw. Yeah, I think this was mainly valuable for me to think about um, to take to you know what could be in incorporated into our remote uh, or whatever it is the toolkit um yeah, the types good. of questions that are top of mind at least for this you know fairly self-selected group i think it um, is 
that could be, you know, pretty easily curated into an online resource. Um, so yeah, I found the activity sheet uh, conversation really valuable in that sense. Good. Suzanne, ideas? Um, I perhaps I missed an email because I'm not there, uh, but I was confused at first about um, what we were doing, the interactivity of the, um, you know, of the whole session. And so I was thinking, introducing right away that it is an interactive session and yeah. that people are, you know, um, welcome to contribute on both sides of the column. It took me a little while um, to uh, realize that I'm not very long at all. And then I just got right into it. But um, at first, I didn't know. And so and then the other thing is, um, and, and this is also because I'm not there anymore. And the Wisconsin experience is new since I've left, um, though I really um, love it a lot, actually. Um, and so I was one. I, I thought we were going to kind of go. It might help to like review the Wisconsin experience, um, and even for PSU, I think that bringing in that Wisconsin experience. And, and here at PSU, we have what we're right. calling clusters. Yeah, um, I think and, every university probably has something like it—a mm -hmm. value statement, a mission statement. And if you just connect that, you know, it. A lot of people don't know it, but. Yeah. Yeah, we have habits of mind. The habits of mind yeah. is what we're using for our sort of overarching pedagogical approach. Good habits or bad habits? <laughs> <laughs> the seven habits of a uh, something mind, right? Yes, exactly. Although we're only really highlighting four. Um, and I'll share that with you, John. Sure. Um, That'd be great. I'm but, wondering. Yeah, this is super great. John, having come in only at the end, I love the Google document activity and I love the way that it provides an artifact and it allows for people that rather than just putting stuff in a chat, they can be kind of adding to it while listening. I wonder Yeah, there are there are still okay. twenty eight people in it in the in the document right now. Which so is really that's, cool. I love it. I'm I'm yeah. teaching I'm teaching a, a, a module on stakeholder engagement coming up in a in a month or so and I'm gonna totally use the, the idea of the Google Doc because I hadn't done it in a long time. It's great, but I'm th I'm thinking about the overwhelm thing, right? And and how you can break that down. I wonder if at the very end, um, taking even five minutes to reflect and then name the turtle steps. I call them the turtle. Like, what's one little thing that you can do? Because people do get caught up in in thinking that they have to transform everything. And if yeah. they don't do it perfectly, then they're a failure somehow versus what's one tiny little thing, right? What's one mm -hmm. example of a syllabus shift I could make or what's one discussion I could post for my students at the very on the first day? Or, or and just so that might be a way for people to kind of focus back down and, and, and feel less overwhelmed. Yeah. And at the very beginning of the activity sheet, I have something that says, hey, you know what? You're already doing a lot of these things. Um, mm -hmm. And this is just a matter of like, add one more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right? yeah. That well, just, Wisconsin experience can be. Say what stands out? You know, like, oh, this is what stands out for me. Oh, that's not so scary. Or, yeah. Because that, that's what yeah. I'm going to look at when I go through it um, as well. When I go back through the sheet and look at, okay, what are the little things that I can do or tweak, or how can I support the faculty members around me in uh, in changing a few little things. Yeah, that's like a really good it, point. It's tangible. It's tangible. The sheet is tangible. The things are tangible. It's much better than just simply talking about Black Lives Matter or we have to do better. That's our favorite thing here is everybody keeps saying, you have to do better. And I'm like, well, what does doing better look like? Yeah. And they get very upset, right? People get very upset. They get very angry. We have to do better. Yes, we do. And what does that look like exactly? Yeah. Give me, give me three concrete things that I can do. Better. Right, precisely. And I think people are really hungry for that, which is what you're seeing with the, the level of participation you had today, too, which is really cool. I think it's yeah, why I, I like that one in the one of the um, Wisconsin experiences is that purposeful action. And so really that that embodies that 
-hmm. what what can more can we do oh you know what jt we can you we can we can uh schedule not schedule model the whole lab after the four elements of the wisconsin experience like uh relentless curiosity what are you interested in finding out about today um intellectual confidence jump in and add your thoughts to the document exactly. empathy and humility you know what are the what are you missing how you know where are your weak points and then purposeful action what are the few things that you're going to apply to that that's cool i love this idea this is a very good idea thank you yeah. all right i don't want to hang i hold you all Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing your ideas. Uh, thank you for participating, jumping into the activity sheet. Um, please continue to feel free to add other ideas and thoughts into them. Um, I know I'll be doing that probably for the rest of my year. I have a question. So yeah. for every time you do this with folks, will you be uh, starting out with a blank document? Um, no, we often, um, so for the last two labs, we had some frequently asked questions that we had already gotten, um, mm -hmm. and we put those down below. So in addition to that sort of blank document of like, here's a spot for you to add stuff, because you're right, that, you know, I don't know if this is what you meant or not, but it can be intimidating looking at, at that blank canvas and being like, I don't want to be the first one to add something. Mm -hmm. um, we have in the past also um, seeded some questions. Um, and last, yesterday's lab, we were going to um, have a bunch of them in there. The, the people that I was facilitating with said, oh, here's a bunch of questions. And I was like, no, we need to take those out and put them into the frequently asked questions part because that table is for the participants to add their questions. I don't want to give them, you know, a, a canned thing with questions that are all planted from the audience. Um, so, but I think that having one or two seated questions and example answers is probably a really good idea. Okay. Jade, yeah, you've done that in the past, I know. Yeah, I was say, I'm guilty as charged in that response. Um, sometimes when I've noticed that people are a little reticent to immediately jump in, I'll throw sort of a softball question in there, sort yeah. of, you know. Which is great. How can I get started with whatever this is? And then I'll respond to my own question, um, hoping that no one notices that I just moved over from one column to the next. Right. Um, the way to get that started, and it doesn't. It's not. You can open it's up an incognito tab, JT, yeah, but, and you know, okay. I, at this point. <laughs> um, but I, I think John's right. I think some people there's they, they see that you know the the blank columns and the blank chart, and they're just not really sure um, where to begin. So on the you know, I'll fall on that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever thought, have you, I don't know with your other sessions, if you ever do a kind of a follow-up or like a reunion? I was thinking, because when I was doing something with, with a group in, in Australia, um, one of the most powerful things was when we would meet again, uh, we were going through a bunch of different books. It was basically a book group, but I, I structured it a certain way so that they had to say what they were going to try. So at the ah. end of each session, before they left, they had to say, this is something I took from this chapter, and this is what I'm going to try. And then when we came back, they would say, well, this is what I, this is, I tried it, and this is how it went. Um, mm -hmm. And it would be interesting to, to have people kind of debrief a little, hold them accountable for actually trying the thing, but also maybe yeah. some support. So it might be an invitation. I don't know how many sessions you're planning to offer or, or, or whether you'd want to bring people back together, you know, greatest hits from all of them. <laughs> But we did what, a, did you try and how did it, what did you try and how did it go? Uh, we did last fall. Um, we had 13 sessions, and then we repeated them in a different order. So if you couldn't make it on a Wednesday or a, a Friday morning on the first half of the semester, we'd have the same same theme for the sure. on a Thursday in the second half at a different time. So sure. we'd get more people for the different things. Uh, that worked okay-ish. In, in some ways, we, we always added something else to it, so they were never the repeat sessions. Um, right. Many of them, we had the same people, or many of the same people come back because they wanted to dig deeper about it. Mm -hmm. JT, you were there for a lot of those. Yeah, right. I was going to say, I mean, each lab was different. Um, 
so for example, we had two on the Wisconsin experience. The second one was, you know, obviously different from the first. But I think the advantage that we have, at least in the labs, are I call them the frequent flyers, um, and yeah. so they're they're always there. Um, it's a group, you know, I mean, it's a core group of I would I'd be willing to say, you know, upwards of 20, 25 people, um, and so you can really rely on them to you know, see what's happened, sort of get their experience, and just as a way to mm -hmm. I say, you know, test the temperature of the room, but to sort of get that evolution yeah. conversation. I love seeing recognizable faces in the chat because, and I didn't do it for today's topic because it's it's a much more sensitive topic. But if there's a question about how to do something in Canvas, I'll be like, Lisa, you know how to do that. Can you speak to what you do? Or, or JT, how would they do this in in in, in a French and Italian class or or so mm -hmm. on? Um, what ideas do you have there? And I I. Would, we'll call people, um, invite them in to have a conversation more specifically, and that absolutely works. You know, if I say somebody's name, they aren't going to be like, oh, I'm not going to answer. Um, if I say, hey, does anybody have anything to do to say about this? Everybody will be like quiet and wait for somebody else to do it. But if I say, Terry, can you share what you did, yeah. you know, in your department? You do. You stand up and you're like, I oh, just got called on. I have to. It's a student in us, right? <laughs> all right. Hey, thank you all again. It's almost 2.30. Yeah. I've kept you thank an extra you. 24 minutes. I thank really appreciate nice the conversation. Too. It's good to see okay. you as well. Great to meet you all. Good luck, everybody, as the semester starts. Absolutely. May the force be with us. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>